What is the usual margin of error, Samuel, in, in your polls? So let me, let me give you a, a little background um, and then put this into perspective. And it is very important that Kenyans understand that this is science. Our opinion polling is as old as uh, from 1824. That's 200 years back it has been happening. And opinion polling is all about going to a population and selecting a representative sample. Now, when we talk about representativity as part of research, what is that sample that can represent the population? And that is where we bring the margin of error. Why do we talk about a sample? I normally use an analogy which is very, very interesting. When we want to know that you have malaria, Jeff, we only take one drop of your blood. We don't drain the whole five liters of blood from you. And from that one drop, we can test and find that you have malaria. And remember that one drop as um, red blood cells, white blood cells, all of those, those things. So in a population survey, you go and select a subset of that population which exhibits the characteristics of the population. And every time you select that, because we are guided by the rules of science, uh, acceptable margin, there are different margins of error, but in our Kenya population, our population right now, the eligible population that vote is about 21 million. 21 million, you can represent them with a sample of 1,000 plus depending on the margins of error. But now a sample of 2,500 has a margin of error of plus minus 2.2. Mm -hmm. Plus minus 2.2. That is an acceptable range. Uh, the more you increase the sample, the more you reduce the margin of error. So for example, a sample of 10,000 could have a margin of error of something like 0.7% plus minus. Uh, but it may not necessarily give you a lot of different results from a 2,500 or even 5,000 sample. So it doesn't matter the more and more we increase the sample, the margin of error doesn't get to zero because it goes on a line up to infinity. It will never get to zero. And it is important to understand that. So what sample can represent the Kenyan population? Even with good sampling, uh, with uh, you know, following the rules of science, even a sample of 1,000, can it represent a subset of the population that you want to measure and understand? And 